Hello there! I am Cincy Victoria Whitfield, your business Reiki master, and it's my joy to help empathic entrepreneurs like you get and stay balanced and clear in mind, body, and business. Welcome back to another installment of your weekly love letters from the dojo at naturalintuition.com and my blog, victoriawhitfield.com. These are your sources for channeled holistic stress management techniques and guidance for developing your natural intuition and your abundant business lifestyle. Whether you are looking to improve the quality of your personal or professional life, let this love letter be your reminder that you're not alone and that together we can make that happen. So I'm so happy that I get to dive into a new multi-week series with you right now. And the topic that my guides have asked me to cover this time in particular is losing faith. What to do when you feel like you are losing faith. Now, I want to be clear. I am not a business coach. I'm not a marketing guru. And I'm not your run-of-the-mill Reiki master. I'm not even a massage therapist or any of that. I'm not any of those things. I'm a business Reiki master. So what does that mean? I help empathic entrepreneurs and their teams. I help burnt out business owners. I help uncertain CEOs, right, and C-level executives and their teams as well get and stay balanced and clear in mind, body, and business. So although I am not the person who's going to tell you how to write a business plan, right, or how to get your first client. I am the person that's going to support you with the energy behind doing those tasks. Making sure that your vibration, your emotion, your energy in an emotional, spiritual, and mental sense, and even a physical sense from time to time, is balanced, is managed very well. And that's when people call me in, specifically those people that I listed, when they're losing faith. And we're going to be talking more about the experience of losing faith in yourself, losing faith in your business, right, or the economy, losing faith in your mission and your purpose on earth and what to do in each and every situation. Um, they're listed. So if you haven't yet, make sure that you subscribe on YouTube so that you get these love letters first every single week. And also make sure that you take my quiz so that you have an opportunity to self-assess around where are you at and then jumpstart your healing journey. Without further ado, let's get a little bit more into this. Why are we talking about losing faith in particular? So my guides have magnetized to me so many people who are brilliant, experts, talented, generous, loving, givers, 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 right? Givers gain. If you know what I'm talking about, right? Send me an email back, right? Comment below wherever you're seeing this. Type it in, givers gain. If that's something that you live by. And here's the thing. Eventually, if you are not receiving and giving, right? So if you're not receiving as you give, you will dry out. Think of it this way. Think of yourself as an oil lamp. You know, if you've ever seen an oil lamp, it's this beautiful glass receptacle which has a cotton wick that runs through it and it's uh, bound at the top so that the wick doesn't fall in and that receptacle is full of oil, right? A incendiary flammable substance. But when it's wicked up, right, or absorbed up the wick, it then becomes fuel for a burning fire. So if you light that, the fire will continue to burn in the oil lamp 
for as long as there is oil in there, right? So for us as empathic entrepreneurs, right? As spiritual business owners, as conscious CEOs, we're giving, giving, giving. We want to take excellent care of our people, right? Being in charge means taking care of the people who are in our charge. You know, you know this already. And what can happen along the way is that you give to the point where your oil lamp, so to speak, is running out and your light begins to dim. So my guides are asking me to urge you this week in particular, look, where is my light dimming? Where have I begun to lose faith? Are you losing faith in yourself? Are you losing faith in your business or the economy, right? Your ability to receive and pay out money? Or are you losing faith in your mission, your purpose here on earth? Those symptoms usually are accompanied by feelings of exhaustion, crankiness, right? Resentment, smiling, but behind your smile, there's like a sense of, I can't stand this anymore. I don't know how much more I can take. Or avoidance, procrastination. Be kind to yourself if this is what you are going through. This month in particular, I don't know when you'll be watching this. Maybe you're watching it when we first debut these love letters. Maybe you'll happen upon this in YouTube or wherever, or someone shared it with you because they love you. But regardless of the time of year, you've landed on this video series because it's time for you to refill your oil lamp. It's time for you to feed your faith. And we wanna honor you wherever you're at, if you happen to be losing faith, or perhaps you're watching this because someone that you know and love or who you work with, who you've like seen as a powerhouse before, they've been amazing, but their light is starting to dim. Let's begin to send some healing to that, right? Let's surround you and your loved ones, right? Your, your dear coworkers and colleagues in Healing White Light and positivity this week, this day in particular. And without further ado, let's get to the Oracle cards of the week. I'm gonna come a little bit closer just so that you can see them a little bit more clearly. Healing with the Angels, the very first Oracle tech, Oracle deck that Doreen Virtue ever made. Healing with the Angels. Angels, what do we need to know right now? about this topic of losing faith. Is it okay? What do we need to know in order to begin to restore it? Nature. Gorgeous. I'm going to read to you. Let's see. M N. Nature. Spending time alone in nature is important for you. Even five minutes in a garden would be healing for you right now. By drawing this card, the angels ask you to interact with nature more often, every day if possible. This card also signifies that you may be happier living in a more rural setting. If you have thought about moving away from city life, consider this card as additional validation. Also, this card may be encouraging you to choose an occupation involving plants or animals. For instance, you may enjoy gardening, nursery or veterinary work, pet sitting, or delving into the world of animal communication. Your angels and the nature elementals are helping you discover and give your gifts to the world. Help them to help you by spending more time in nature. And here's where we're going to leave off for this week. As we enter into this more vulnerable topic of losing faith, one way that you can begin to rebuild already before we start talking about more specific ways is by reconnecting to nature reconnecting to nature nature is so healing right if maybe you lost a loved one or maybe um a major client fell through 
the way that you can begin to restore your faith in yourself, in life, in business, is to step back and appreciate nature. You know, the beautiful thing about plants is that they continue growing, right? Or how animals, they have this beautiful wonder and awe for life. They have this essential beauty and innocence to them. Mountainsides, uh, forests, right? The beach and the water. Connect to the beauty of nature and allow it to begin to replenish and refill your soul. So if this is on time for you, right? If it's speaking to you, make sure that you comment below, send me an email back at info at victoriawhitfield.com and subscribe on YouTube so that you get these love letters first every single week. And by the way, if this is really resonating and you're thinking of someone in particular, will you please send them this video, right? Let them know that they're not alone. And if you received this and someone shared it for you, I want you to know you're not alone in this. Faith can be restored. Connect to nature this week. Go for a walk. Soak it up. Be gentle with yourself. And I'll see you next week so we continue this conversation. Mwah! Sending you so much love.